Hey guys, so the holiday season is finally here. Um, I know a lot of people are worried about spending a lot of money and not saving enough this holiday season. So I am here to tell you my very best 10 tips on how to save when you're shopping this season. So my first suggestion is to sign up for emails. A lot of companies, if you sign up for their email newsletters, they send you discounts that other people don't really get. So like just an H&M, I just got recently an email for 40% off any item of my choice. So that's a great one, especially when you're shopping for presents or anything like that, it's really great to have that discount. My second suggestion is to look up websites like Retail Me Not. RetailMeNot.com is a really easy website. You just go onto it, you type in what store you want to shop at, and it shows you any discounts or savings available at that time for that store. So you save a lot of money that way as well. Um, my third suggestion is, since we all are students, most of us, we have college IDs use that in stores. Stores you don't even think would do it, do it. Give you student discounts. Um, Club Monaco does it, Charlotte Russe. I know Urban Outfitters does it, I think. And most importantly, during the holiday season, Apple does it. I know a lot of people want to buy others Apple products. So if you show your student ID, you get a good discount. So try that out. Um, also, rewards programs. Uh, I know brands like CVS, American Eagle, they all ask you if you'd like to be in the rewards program, it's completely free. They just give you a little card usually and you just swipe it every time you're there and then they send you really cool offers from that as well. Or some brands like I think Macy, but Macy's you might have to pay for. But I know like American Eagle, uh, sometimes you just, you know, put it in and rewards members get a discount. So that's a good way too. The next suggestion I have for you guys is to follow brands on Facebook. I know Bath and Body Works, every once in a while on Facebook, they, they post just a Facebook offer. They don't have it anywhere else. You have to be a Facebook friend of theirs. And you get a free product. And th they do this often. So a free product is awesome. You can use that as a gift for someone. So definitely follow the brands you really like on Facebook. Because they'll be, or especially around the holiday season, they post offers for people. Um, my sixth suggestion for you guys is to make your own gifts. I know that might sound cheesy for some people, but... I love to bake, so if you bake someone like a bunch of holiday cookies, you could have cute cutouts like snowman or Christmas trees or whatever you'd like, just bake a, a cute little batch of cookies, put it in a cute box, put a bow on it, and that could be a gift for someone. You don't have to spend so much money. My seventh suggestion is to claim your credit card rewards. If you have a credit card, you might not realize how many points you already built up. You might have a reward waiting for you, so check that out. Um, my eighth one is to earn free rewards cards. I have done a previous video, which I'm going to post below here, about how you can earn free gift cards. So check that video out and you could be saving a lot this Christmas. So that's my eighth suggestion. My ninth one is don't be an impulsive shopper. Impulsive shoppers usually don't save much money, which brings me to my very last suggestion and tip, and that is compare prices. Don't be an impulsive shopper and compare prices what you want let's say I want a new pair of boots for someone or something like that check around see other stores see how much it costs ever compare prices and then find the cheapest store the one you get the biggest discount and that's my suggestion for you guys so there you go that's my 10 tips on how to save this holiday season I'm going to put the link below here for my blog on this and also um, for the video about tip number eight so happy holidays guys